Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to Let's Try a Little Ark, Survival Evolve. This, of course, is the wilderness survival game with dinosaurs. Uh, in, or another way to think of it, it's sort of a Minecrafty kind of thing with dinosaurs. You wake up alone, naked, and stranded on an island that is full of dinosaurs. Um, it has massive multiplayer support, including PvP servers, PvE servers, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, personally, I always tend towards uh, PvE, but I have to say that I'm sure the PvP is extraordinarily exciting on this game. Look at this, the sun is rising, some dinosaurs are roaming in the distance, and today we are hunting dodos. Welcome to my, uh, the, my river home, right over here. I built this little shack, and uh, it offers me a little bit of shelter at night, especially when it was raining like that. Um, you're much warmer indoors, especially if you've got fire. we got a fire there, and uh, I can do some cooking and stuff. But that is not the time for cooking. Today is when we hunt for dodos, and maybe do a little bit of fishing, actually. There's a nice little river over here. Now, one of the things with this game, it is still an early access. It is still being worked on quite a bit. And uh, the frame rates are not fantastic. I actually have the graphics turned down fairly low just to get reasonable frame rates over here. You can see that. I actually have a pretty decent computer. Um, and I, I had to nerf my, uh, my graphics down pretty high uh, just to get a solid um, 30 to 40 frames per second. And, you know, obviously I would like quite a bit more than that. But I have to say, the game is awfully pretty. And hopefully there'll be some more optimizations. You can see I'm a bit cold here. Still early in the morning. It's chilly. If there was a fish around, I would go for it. Of course, I'll probably run into a mega piranha at this uh, rate. So let's go ahead. So yeah, so um, this game is available on Steam. It is in early access, as I said, although it's got quite a bit of stuff. It's got a large number of different types of creatures, specifically multiple types of dinosaurs, such as that one over there. These are herbivores. They, uh, they should not attack me unless I freak them out a little too, too much. Hello! And in fact, they are tameable. You can tame dinosaurs and even ri uh, ride some of the dinosaurs, which is pretty excellent. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm still, you know, still early days in the game for me. I'm only, this character is level 7 here. If you do die, you lose all the stuff on you. You do have the option of sort of respawning in a random location so as to not lose your skills. And uh, anything you did to the world, like build your huts and things, will still be there. Of course, unless another player has come by and uh, stolen all of your stuff. You can loot various things, stone, I can uh, sort of pick at this plant over here. We've got some different types of berries. Sometimes we'll get fiber that we can use to make cloth and whatnot. Um, but I actually don't want to collect too much stuff here. I'm trying to stay relatively lightweight so that I can get a good jog on so we can go hunt something. Because I... Whoa! I am looking for some... Um, uh, those little spitter guys. I don't think... Like, they won't hunt you, but they will defend themselves pretty aggressively. Um, I need some hide because I want to make myself some shoes. As you can see, I've made myself some pants, a shirt, and a hat. And tell, let me tell you, it takes a little while before you can get up to the point of making basic clothing. The clothing helps keep you a little bit warmer and a little bit cooler. It protects you from extreme sort of sun and heat, but also keeps you a little bit warmer, which is nice. Um, but I'm still going around barefoot. Now, you'll probably have noticed that green beam in the distance. Uh, there are a variety of these like light beams everywhere that sort of indicate a special chest with extra special loot. I could go for that one. I suspect I might get eaten by a shark if I try that. So we may have to try it just to say. Um, but the problem is they, uh, they're sort of level capped. You need to be a certain level to be able to open it. And the last one I went to that was green, I think I needed to be level 15. Actually, that might still be the same one. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Anywho, um, there were some dodos around here, around the lake last time I was here. So I'm hoping to be able to hunt them and see what we can do. We could pop into the water, see if there's any fish to hunt over here. But I have to be careful because this, uh, this is a little bay that's connected to the ocean. And sharks do like to visit over here. Well, what are they called? Megalodons, I think. So I would rather not be eaten. It may have happened once or twice already. We'll see how it goes. Should take a look at the inventory at this point. So this interface I think needs a, I should, how about I, I don't uh, suffocate to death. That would be a good idea, I think. There we go. Whew. All right, let's stand here, even though I'm a little bit chilly, it's gonna be okay. Um, so here's my inventory. for you. You can see that he's looking at something in his arm. That's this uh, specimen implant. We don't know what's the deal with that yet, but I have an implant on my arm. Um, here's my current inventory. Three of these things, well, one of this I think everyone's got, and then these two seem to be uh, pre-order 
um, or, or early access sort of bonus items, like they start you off with a saddle to ride parasaurs. Of course, you still have to tame one, but I'm really looking forward to giving that a try. Um, you've got your craftables menu over here um, of things that you can make, and you can see, I, want to, I really want to make these cloth boots here, but it needs some hide. It also needs fiber in that. I've got tons of fiber stored in my house, and I've got four units of hide, but I need a little bit more there. So that is what I'm looking for today. I've got a good amount of food with me. Um, there's lots of fresh water around. Even this is not salty water. I can, if I get in there, I can take a drink, so we're okay that way. Um, and we're going to start jogging. Now, I always have to be a little bit cautious when I start jogging here, because it will drain my stamina. And if by some chance I happen to jog into a non-passive dinosaur, I think that's an herbivore as well. What is that, a stegosaurus? Um, then I'm going to be found without any stamina and no ability to run. Wow, look at that light reflect reflection, that bloom. What is that over there? I think, yeah, that's still okay. Oh man, this area was a lousy with, um, with dodos yesterday. They may have migrated away. Actually, the other side of the water was a little bit better. Okay, I, I'm really tempted here. I'm going to let my... Oh, did you see the shark fin in the distance? There's a shark in the water. There's a shark fin that popped in the other side. I'll see if I can sort of get down enough. It's too shallow over here for me to poke down. Might be too shallow for the shark to come, although I would not trust that. Uh, that is a innocent fish. Actually, I've eaten quite a few of those. I think the shark's on the other side of these rocks. All right, I'm gonna make a quick run over here. There's the shark. To see if I might be able to open this, but I suspect I need to be level 50 on that. All right, so that's no good. Get the hell out of here and don't run out of stamina. I do have some stim berries, which uh, presumably are like. Oh my god. Okay. That's um. If you look straight up, you can take a breath of Whew, suffocating there. Um, I do have some stim berries. So the way I figure it, they're probably like uh, coffee beans or something like that. Loaded with caffeine. They can give you a little boost of stamina if you wear it run out. Otherwise, you can just stop. The stamina is the, uh, the lightning bolt on the right-hand side. The ham is the food icon. And even though it looks like it's sort of empty or white there, it's actually quite full right now. You can get a better count of it on your inventory screen. We can see here my food's at 75%. It does drop. I can go ahead and, um, and eat some of the berries or uh, even some of my cooked meat at this point. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Let, let me finish my berries off. Berries sort of spoil relatively quickly, so we may as well finish them off. Plus, you can pick berries pretty easily from these plants over here. There we are. So, I'm really keen to try the multiplayer aspect of it. This is just a quick early look at as I try to figure my way around the game. Come on. Don't tell me there's no dodos around here. Now, I gotta say, going around during the day isn't too bad. Uh, I think snapping turtles are supposed to be maybe a little bit, um, a little bit aggro at times here. I'm just gonna try to work my way around. I just defecated. Excellent. So there's a poop mechanism. Both you and the dinosaurs do poop, and that poop can be applied as a fertilizer to different things. You can grow your own plants. So, you know... Food goes in, poop comes out, and then you just put the poop back into the food, and it all works together. Alright, I'm thinking... I, I'm very disappointed here. I don't have any dodo hunting to show you. Nor was I able to find any uh, fish to hunt. What do we got over here? Is that one of the spitters? I can, I can take a spitter if he's alone. Grab the spear. Alright. Level 9, female. Oof! Okay. Um, I have... All right, I got it. Woo. I'm still about half health. No one else aggroing. That's good. You can drag the bodies, which can be helpful for um, uh, for fish, I find. There we go. Got a little bit of hide. So I think I got some raw meat from just killing it. Yeah, a little bit of that and a little bit of hide. Well, that's good. Maybe I'll go and hunt some more of those, although I'm currently hurt. I'm definitely going to have to let myself heal up um, before I take any more of them. Damn, where are all the, dido uh, the dodos? Here, just randomly pick some plants while I'm coming through here. You can build a slingshot. I wonder if you can pick off um, pterodactyls. I don't know if pterodactyls are rideable. Pterodactyls, pterodon, pterodons. Pter Hang on, is pterodon what that is? Yes, and apparently it is rideable. Holy crap! You can ride a flying dinosaur. That's fantastic. I don't have the means to do that right now. I don't think they aggro. I think they're relatively passive. Okay, well, this sucks. Oh, there we go. There's some dodos. My health is mostly filling back up. 
Um, that's the button I wanted to hit. Apparently I just defecated again. I could use a bit more food, so let's eat a unit of actual cooked meat here. Which is very filling. Now, sometimes they have mates around. Okay, this one, no. There are other birds around. Oh, I need to... Hack that up. Good stuff. There's a pair of them there. They might come at me together. Whoa! Level 11, level 27. Apparently some of these are tougher than others. Let's avoid those dodos. What about you? Level 3. Good. Chop, chop, chop. You can see they'll decompose after a little while. I mean, you, you do have plenty of time. But this is, this is nice hunting ground. At some point, I'll want to start hunting some actual dinos, but... Level 20. Oh. Well, that was still fine. I think... I don't know what the level means. Um. There we go. On the... Um, these birds. You know, I'm not sure. There's experience points in the system, actually. I'm about to level up here. Uh, male... Mate boosted. So the mate is, A, I think giving you an extra level, but also, I think means that they will aggro. Although, this one's only level 3. I might be able to sneak attack it with a headshot. Oh. Okay. That's the wrong one. Good. Let's see if we can't... Ah, oh, dodos are easy. Okay. That was a word for nothing. Lots of hide going on here. And my house is... You can almost, you should almost be able to see it, like, right over, no, it's over there, I guess, because it's not in the bay. There's a little river that comes up right over there. So my house is only over there. It would be nice to be able to go right across the water to get to my house, but this water is shark infested, so I would rather not do that. All right, um, a little low on hunger, so let's go ahead and eat one of my cooked meats, eat a couple of berries as well. Get, get our fruit on the side, not just protein. A little bit of fiber. I don't know if there's anything else that can be hunted around here. Um, that is one of the spitter guys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to mess with them. You can tell because of their fringe. And they do spit at you, and I think they can blind you. Very Jurassic Parky. Actually, good timing for this to come out with all the, the hype for the new Jurassic Park movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There is... Now, I'm in a very gentle area. There are some very, very, very scary areas with some really ginormous dinosaurs. And I'm just avoiding it because of obvious reasons. It would be way, way, way too dangerous. I'm just picking some stuff off some plants as I go by. I think that was it for the dido... Or the... The dodos. I keep saying dodos. The dodos. These things don't wave a white flag. All right, come here. Ooh. Tougher. Um. Come on, there we go. I don't know why you don't get a uh, crosshair on other items. You get them when you've got a weapon equipped, which I get, which is very handy. But it would actually be quite convenient if it was there all the time. When, because you have to aim for most of your tools to be useful. Oh, these things move so slowly. I know that, like, in reality, Dodos, the reason they went extinct is because they, they're, like, not used to any natural predators. And, uh, they weren't able to escape from, like, at, what was it, like, wild dogs or something like that. So, narco berries are interesting. They actually do make you tired, and you can use them to, um, to tame animals. What you do is, apparently, you, you knock one out, and then you can start to feed it. And then you, hey, level up, there we go. You get XP from doing just about everything in the game, as far as I can tell. Um, you um, you keep it doped up with narco berries while you also feed it and get it used to you. So I'm gonna have to try to do that soon. Just a few random resources. I think is my spear getting damaged at all? No, apparently not. The other things get damaged, but the spear apparently has unlimited hit points as a quantity. That's interesting. Oh, it can also be thrown. How do you throw a spear? I don't know if I should. Right click? Oh, yeah! Oh, cool! And I can get it back? Yes? No? No! Yes. Okay. Holy crap! 
That changes everything. I didn't realize that. Okay, so let's level up. Uh, tribe manager, you can make tribes. Those are your sort of clans and things in the game, which is pretty exciting. So to level up, you can increase one of your stats, including like your maximum potential food and so on and so forth. As I put it, I've been sort of spreading it out a bit, which is probably stupid. Um, I think I'm going to end up putting a little bit more, maybe a little bit more stamina and like movement speed. Stamina does help with combat as well. And then I have eight engram points, which can be used to unlock new techs. Um, I don't have a bed yet, so I think it's going to be quite important to put that in. Acts as a respawn point. So that sounds like a pretty good thing. Um, hi, dude. Uh, because right now, if you do die and you choose the respawn option, it respawns you somewhere random. So presumably, if you have a bed, it um, you can fix it as your respawn point. Can I get through here? No. Although, what I can do... Let's beat the crap out of this rock. I'm using the wrong tool. I'd like this one, actually, to presumably get more stone. There we go. Just get rid of the stone completely. Doesn't matter how big they are. There we go. See? It's fine. No problem. Okay, do I have enough to uh, make more spears? Well, I'm going to get back to my home first, because I want to store this... Um, these goods. Actually, I might actually have enough to craft my shoes on the go. Where are the boots? Uh, I know I'm blind all the time. There they are. And yes, I can make some boots right now, which I'm very happy about. You can actually make them and continue to move. Some things take longer to craft than others. Sometimes it slows you down. But there we go. So, cloth gear does give you armor. Um, not. It says, you know, not a lot. So I don't know how much an armor value 40 actually does for me. But um, presumably it's okay. Plus it gives you, yeah, thermal insulation. Which seems like a pretty good idea. So I'm currently in the Gulch of Lamentation in East Zone 1. Now, this big pillar in the middle here, I don't know exactly what it does. But I suspect it may be some mean to travel between zones or something. I wasn't able to reach it on a casual walk. Uh, both because it was sort of in a weird elevated area, and two, because it was surrounded by extremely hostile creatures that I was not comfortable fighting. Alright. Um, woo. Physics. Alright, we should just head back home at this point. We can store some stuff, and then we can consider trying to do a taming. Um, is it one of these? Oh, I'm dehydrated. I'm doing a lot of running. It's hot. Also, I'm hungry. Let's eat a couple of units of food. This uh, should rehydrate me. There we go. Drink, 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 drink. Good. Also cools you down if you start to overheat. Um, yeah, so, okay. The saddle I've got is for a parasaur. So is this a parasaur? Yes. Level four. I, I want to get my stuff home first. And I'm considering maybe building a slingshot, which would require me to level up again. Before I could get the tech. Oh, man. I feel like I should just try it. And then run if it doesn't work out. I have no idea. Do I have enough, like, things I need? How many narco berries do I have? I think I need... Yeah, I'm going to need more than that. So, um, we can sort of pick some stuff along the way. But I'm going to try to go home, bank all my goods. Because if I die, I lose everything that's on me. So, I'm going to try to do this with the least possible amount of stuff on me. Also know that apparently the parasaur's favorite food are the mejo berries, which are the purple ones. So I want to have a good amount of those as well. I think you can feed it just about any berry, but it just goes better if you've got the right kind. There you go. You can you can spend a lot more time picking plants. Like I can sit here and just drain a plant dry, like that. Um, but I like just sort of picking while I run. Okay, I, well, I can't possibly be lost, because I'm just following the shore, so eventually I'll hit my river, which is where my house is. So I put my house there for two reasons. Oh my god, here's a bunch of dodos. I put my house there for two reasons. One, the river uh, had the possibility of having fish. They're all mate boosted, but... Oh, my spear broke, so it does have quality. Okay. Oh, and then I get my spear back. That's interesting. Or did I throw my spear accidentally? I don't know. Maybe I just um, re rebuilt the spear. 
So it's a lot easier to hit these things in first person view than a third person view. If they had the, um, if they had the, the crosshair all the time, third person view would be fine. It's slightly more interesting. I kind of like seeing ourselves. Yeah, and you can't pick stuff if you've got anything in your hand. Except a torch. A torch is fine. Your spear broke. It did. So if I hit three for the spear, it will just create a new one for me. It's very handy. Assuming I've got the, um, assuming I have the materials in my inventory, it will just make the item for you right away if you just hit the hotkey for it. And I like that. It won't create a second one. So at some point I'll run out of material, but I had picked enough, like, wood and thatch. I think it needs that. I think it might need a little bit of fiber, too, and maybe a flint at the end of it. Let's take a look. If I wanted to craft a spear, if I wanted to craft a bunch of them so that I could throw. Wood, flint, fiber, yeah. Let's go ahead and queue another one up so I've got the option of throwing one. Plus, if my spear breaks mid-fight, um, I don't want to have to resort to punching people. I would feel much better if I had multiple copies. So again, let's pick this stuff as we go back. There's my river. Um, there's a possibility there might be some fish in here too. We can eat uh, some of the yellow berries. Can't I? No? Oh, maybe I can't eat while I'm swimming. I guess that would be reasonable. I'm gonna have to cook this meat that I've got from the dodos. They expire pretty quickly. They spoil. Um, I mean, obviously faster than in real life, but it's just supposed to represent sort of an accelerated world. You know, it's a simulation that is accelerated. Almost out of air. Let's get back up top. And my hut will be right over here. And I have a campfire set up there. There it is. Everything according to plan. All right, so let's go interact with the fire. We're going to put all our raw meat on there. Oops, all of it. Thank you. And light the fire up. It'll probably tell us we're too warm right now. Oh, I'm surprised it's not, actually. What's the air temperature? 27 degrees. Yeah, so I really should be too warm. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm well hydrated right now. So that'll cook the meat. Um, I am going to want to go and pick a few more berries. Yeah, the mejo berries. I think I've got a good number of those. Is it the ones I've got in my queue? No, those are jewel berries. Major berries? No, I need more than that. Because that is the favorite food of that particular dinosaur. Um, whoa! Flying? Oh, it's not flying. It's just at an angle. I haven't seen the Bronto come this close before. I don't remember if they call it the Bronto or the Allosaurus in here. Because there is a Brontosaurus again! Of course, that was the big thing, is that the Brontosaurus was not real, it was a miscommunication, yada yada yada, but they have gone and made a new one. Um... I got some seeds for more major berries. So let me tell you what, let's transfer as much as we can in here. And then take those back. Oops, the whole stack. And all the narco berries. I got some spoiled meat in there that I should, I guess, just drop. Don't need that. Presumably it'll just burn away at some point. Um, do I have any stored in this one? No. Okay. I do have lots of material though. I can make more spears. Okay, there's lots of plants over there. Let's go and loot those. What the hell is that thing? That's a spitter. Ugh! See? Blinding. Gotcha. Whew! Took some damage, but nothing I couldn't handle. Hey buddy, listen. There's nothing there's nothing to see here. Mind your own business. Alright, let's pick a few more plants. Now I don't know if there's a particular plant that is more likely to have fiber versus uh, the mejo berries that I'm looking for. I like how the ground shakes when you're nearby. There we go. A little mejo berry on there. Maybe the mejos are just a little bit more rare. I right, defecate it again. Great. Now a lot of the berries also have a secondary quality. Um, the mejo berries. Uh, it's just to improve almost every meal, but like the yellow ones can be used as a yellow dye. So I'm looking forward to the idea of like dyeing stuff later, especially once you create a tribe and you like get your gang colors, your tribe colors. Now, I think it helps to use the favorite food, but you don't just have to use the favorite food. You can, uh, you can get away with other things. So we may try something like that. I have no idea if this is going to work. And then, of course, we're going to have to refine the right, uh, the right dinosaur as well. 
And how many narco berries do I have? I have lots. Next one spoils in six minutes, but I do have an overkill amount of them. Stim berries, do not feed them that when you're trying to tame, or we'll wake them up too early. Don't give me stone, I want to pick the things. Okay, I think we're going to have to go with this. Is that poop? It is, medium dinosaur species. Spoils an hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, you can, uh, you can make plants grow better. Oh, there we go. Maybe those small flat ones have the more major berries. Like this one here? Nope. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. It might actually have an increased chance. So I should look for those uh, short flat ones, like these, and pick those. I have no idea if that's true. I don't know if I can pick this one. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go and find ourselves a, one of those dinosaurs and see if we can make it work. I still have two spears. I might start with one spear and then just go and punch it. I'm going to die. I just know it. Now, I'm used to seeing them, like, um, at the water's edge over here. Oh, well, there's one right over there. I don't know if I want to engage anything too close to the Bronto. That might be one over there. Let's pick some plants as we come through here. <laughs> it is. I'm super nervous. I'm going to die. Maybe I should strip naked. Actually, the, the clothing is armor, so I'm going to accept the fact that if I die, I'll lose my current stuff. Oh, I haven't built my bed yet. Shoot. Hold on. Because um, I've got the tech for it, right? Didn't I? Simple bed. What do I need? I do 40 hides. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing that. All right, listen, buddy. Nothing personal. I don't want you to die. Punch you in the head, punch you in the head, punch you in the head. You're not fighting back. I guess that's good for me. I feel so bad. I just want to knock him out. Okay, good. Yes? You're knocked out? Okay. Um, inventory. We're going to put narco berries and major berries. And it'll start eating those. Actually, I don't have any other berries around. Oh, yes, I have my own. So every time it lifts its head, I think it will eat. So I'm going to eat my own berries here. So it's got its unconsciousness and a taming meter. I suppose if the unconsciousness starts to drop so low, I'm going to have to make sure to pull out everything that's not an arco berry. Okay. So I've picked all my berries. Or eaten all my own berries. Okay, so let's take another look over here. Oh, did I go and give it those? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Taming effectiveness, 59.5. Let's take out the red ones. Okay, yeah, so it's preferring the purples. I'm going to take the purples away and hope that it eats more of the narco berries and stays unconscious. Meanwhile, yeah, there you go. So, I think it's going to take a while to have this done. I'm going to keep recording, but I'll probably put some cuts in these videos, actually. Come on, eat one of the narco berries. I want to see what happens. Will you? Oh, the taming went away. Oh. How do you force feed it a narco berry? Okay, I mean, there's lots of stuff in there. It'll prefer the major ones. Okay, taming's going up again. More major, that's good. Good, more, more, more. Might be in this area because it's more likely to have some. Unconscious, still eating, hasn't eaten a narco yet. We'll give you some more major berries. Um, keep plenty of food in its inventory while the taming bar fills up. Don't force feed them anything except narco berries. Eat food naturally, but how do you force feed them? Oops. 
Um, let me take half the stack of those, put them on the inventory bar. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to wake up again. I can try to use it. It'll probably just eat. Yeah, I just ate it, so now I'm all doped up. Um. I don't know how it works. Whoops. That was a mistake. I just tried to click back in. So apparently if I go in here and I click on maybe my own narco berries. Uh, remote use item. There we go. There we go. So I can force them to eat the narco berries. How's that for the unconsciousness? Okay, let's take another look. One, two. Okay, unconsciousness is going up. Actually, if I look from here, I can see its torpor rating. Great! Okay, so as long as its torpor rating is, I guess, above zero, it'll stay unconscious. So, that's good. Um, it is out of the good berries. So, it will still tame. It's just going to take longer. So, I'm going to go around and see if I can get a few more. There's another good one. Some sleepy time berries. It's hard to get them. The ones they actually like. Well, maybe they they eat them all. Um, measure berries. I only have the one for you. Torpor is still decent. You have plenty of other berries if it comes up. Tell you what, we'll use one. I think it drops taming efficiency. These flat ones, dummy, you've got them. Nope. Any of these? Apparently there's lots of stone here. There we go. It's a stone plant. Ah, there you go, major berry. Good, 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 good. Don't worry, big guy. We're going to be real good friends after this. This is going to be like a Stockholm thing. You're not going to have the opportunity to get up. You're reliant on me for food. Taming effectiveness is definitely lower than it was. Started at, like, what, 60%? Let's give him another good one. Um, Torpor is fine for me to go and loot some more plants. I have lots of fiber by the end of this. Actually, I should be eating a few of these as well, because I don't have a ton of food. Eat all the yellow ones. Stem berries. Tinto berries, stem berries. I'm happy I have lots of narco berries, although apparently I'm picking a few more. Like, push comes to shove, I can brute force it just by keeping it unconscious enough that eventually it'll tame. But I know that this is one of the fastest dinosaurs to tame. So the for the others, it becomes increasingly important to have everything right. No, you bastard! Did you just kill my dinosaur? You're broke. Oh my god. This fucker is gonna kill me. You bastard! You bastard! He killed my other guy first. Oh. Respawn, random location. So, hello. So I start out naked with no inventory. But I am close to home. I think my uh, little river spot is over here, which means that fucker is still around somewhere. But he's probably killed my unconscious dinosaur. Oh, I'm so sad. Well, listen, guys, I'm terribly sorry I, I can't show you the dinosaur riding in this video. Um, I have to get home. It's getting dark. I mean, it is hazy as part of it, but nighttime is definitely coming. And since I am naked, I'm going to freeze to death out here. 
Luckily, I am, because I picked the same region, I am respawning in an area very close to the last place. I should have enough stuff stored for me to quickly uh, make some new clothing. Let's do a quick run through some of these plants over here. I think it was right here, wasn't it? Are you dead? Aww. Oh, dead. Damn it! I need, um... I need materials for an axe so I can... I could have at least chopped it and gotten some food. Gotten some hide and some, uh, some meat. So, if I get to my house and then craft that and then come back, I can at least do that. Um, is there a spitter bastard hanging out near my house? Yeah, let's just duck inside. I have no idea if they can, uh, damage my stuff or not. Take all. Take all. Build me a spear. Axe those. Maybe a torch, I should probably keep going along. And, uh, clothing. Uh, pants. Shirt. Sure, boots. And a hat. Get the whole set. Oops. I think I accidentally crafted something I already made. No, maybe I'm good. Pants go on. Shirt goes on. Boot goes on. Oh, right, I can, um... How do I skin the hat? Oh, I did build an extra hat. And I can't cancel as far as I can tell. There you go. It's the same thing as the basic cloth hat, but it looks cooler. So, I ended up with an extra hat. Although, I suppose I can just store that. Um, transfer thing. Put it in the box. I'm at full food right now. Well, not full, but not bad. All right. I'm cold, yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna see if I can go and uh, skin that fallen dinosaur. It was right over here somewhere, wasn't it? Nice torchlight. Oh, there it is. A minute and 20 seconds left before decomposed. Alright, a little bit of hide. Well, that is that is supremely disappointing, and I'm terribly sorry. I'm gonna have to do, you know, do a lot of plant picking and all that kind of stuff before I can ride a dinosaur again. And now it's nighttime, so I'm really gonna have to go and just uh, spend the night where it's safe. Um, actually, what I'd really like to do is make a few more spears and then go and attack the butt-faced spitter guy that was hanging around here. Yeah, I know I'm cold. It's okay, though. So... I'm probably just gonna do that. So, anyway, this is a quick look at Ark. I may do some more videos for it in the future if I keep playing it. I'm, I'm looking to maybe play with a few friends on their server, so there might be some footage. Um, I know there's a lot more tech that happens later on. For example, you can, uh, you can get gunpowder eventually and make, like, some grenades and various other weapons that, I don't know, go hunting for T-Rexes or something. Um, the game is still in development. I think they're talking about doubling the number of creatures that are in the game. I think there's about 40 right now, something like that. It's pretty crazy, actually. Hack, hack. There are um, massively varying levels of realism as well. When you set up a server, you go... Oh, that was interesting. Do you see that, that sort of falling star? And I mean, then there's this big white thing, but again, I don't know if I'm high enough level. I know the green ones were level 15, maybe the light or the white one's a little bit lower level, but honestly, those things are always like, they tend to be a lot further away than you expect. And oftentimes there's some scary dinosaurs around where they are, so um, I'd rather not do it. Do I have any uh, meat? I should. Yeah, I've got some raw meat in here. Oh, I think uh, it was left burning or something. Put some wood in there. Light fire. Yeah, I guess it was. All the cooked meat is there. I totally forgot about the fire when I was heading out to do stuff. So, hey, I've got lots of food. So I got that going for me. Because I'm a little bit hungry, too. Well, folks, that was an eventful day. Uh, I died once, and unfortunately, the thing I was trying to team died, which frustrates me to no end. But next time, next time I'll get a riding dinosaur. See you, folks. Bye-bye.